Well, it's Tuesday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're looking at something. We talked last week when we were looking at those, uh, well, the last two weeks, we've been looking at those uh, Mack trucks by Monogram in 124th scale. And I mentioned that I thought that the Delton Doozy had used the exact same <laughs> molds or patterns or something. Because if you look at this section, this is a Delton Doozy, by the way. <laughs> um, the Delton Rail Bus, later on it was an REA, and now it's a Hartford. It's moved around because there have been bankruptcies. Anyway, if you compare this casting right here to the casting from the Monogram truck, it's the they're same. identical. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know they're both Mack trucks and they're a very similar scale, but identical. Yes. And the logo on the front and the radiator casting. So I'm pretty sure that they just took one of those and used it as a pattern for making this. And then the whole back part of this bus, they did a, a series of four passenger cars. And boy, are they kind of controversial and strange. But um, this is that. And it's been repurposed and cut down and, and new molds made. So I think they just used a lot of their existing stuff and a monogram kit and everything to build a pattern model in one-to-one -one scale. And then they just carved their molds. Usually the pattern models are made oversized, but they can be done one-to-one -one scale. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure that's what they've done here. And it's a, it's a neat little kit. I, I had one of these back when I had the outdoor railroad. Okay. And it was painted um, Colorado and Southern and it was green, and I put batteries in the back. And I'd charge it up, and it had a radio-controlled throttle that I'd set up. But that was my favorite thing to run, because with radio-controlled throttle, all I had to do was knock a bunch of debris off the tracks. <laughs> I didn't have to go around and clean tracks or do anything. I could just set that, that guy on the track. Um, didn't have to worry about derailments, because it's a bus, it, it, no cars, it wasn't pulling any cars. Aww. I'd turn it on and wait to go. And it'd go. just go and go and go and go and go until the battery went dead. You should have hooked a scrubber on the back of it. He could have cleaned your tracks. <laughs> uh, you know I did. <laughs> oh, hell. No, I, this would be the first thing out on the track, and I'd just run it and run it. And then when I was out barbecuing, I'd just turn this thing on, and it could run around the yard. I had 600 feet of track, and there it would disappear off through the trees. And Anyway, they're a lot of fun. But I never really thought about buying another one. That one disappeared. Somebody took off with it or Maybe something. Maybe it went around one of those tracks when you're barbecuing and just kept going. We'll come back around one it, of these It days. may be coming back on that same track you any day know. now. <laughs> around the world in 200 days. I, uh, I, I never did know what happened to that, but there were a lot of things stolen out of my garage, and I assume that's where... <laughs> that was one of them. That Somebody's was one having of them. fun with it somewhere. Anyway, uh, Lowell Ditas mm -hmm. showed up one day and he said, do you want another one? <laughs> and it's like, well, yeah, sure. okay, whatever. And so he said, here, uh, someone, he, he got this one from somewhere. Someone gave it to him or he won a, a, a door prize or something. I don't know. And he said, I have no use for it because I don't do this scale and you do. So here, you take it. There you go. So there's a whole bunch of things about this that we don't know. And as I'm looking, it's got... Uh, like a circuit board in a box in here, and I'm just wondering if it has um, DCC in the sound board. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know anything about it other than we got it. Yeah, there it is. And that I used to have one that was green. <laughs> now, this one's painted for Rio Grande Southern, number eight. There never mm -hmm. was an eight, and so they're playing a game there that this is it's the missing. A this is the missing goose. This is the goose that got goosed. But um, I'm just dying to stick it on the track and see if it just hums because it's DCC or if it actually goes because it's DC because we just we don't know anything about it. Well, if it hums, it doesn't know the words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. Yeah, I, we all do that. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're in a, in a group of people, you move your lips like you're actually singing. Yes, especially yeah. when you don't know the words. When you don't know the words, instead of just humming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, we, we digress. 
But uh, isn't it cute? It is. I like it. And I always enjoyed the one that I had back when Delton made it. And Delton went out of business and they, and they sold everything out to REA. Yeah. And REA went out of business and, and Hartford ended up with it. Or mm. Hartford ended up in an REA. I don't know the progression. <laughs> but this is a Hartford. This is a Hartford and we here it is in the box. Uh, which, which isn't a, a very elaborate box. There isn't even any foam pack, and it's just in a plastic just bag so loose in the box. So uh, I don't know why it doesn't get destroyed, but it doesn't, and, and here it is. There it is. So let's drive it around and see what it does. Yeah, what goes around comes around. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's neat. Um, That's cool. Yeah, it, it reminds me of the good old days with one of these things running around on 600 feet of track out in my backyard. Well, just make sure that one doesn't take off for parts and no. I mean, it, bye got a train to catch. Well, one of the things I loved about that old railroad is that there were a lot of trees and bushes <laughs> and stuff and I'd watch this little guy at night and the lights would be on. Yeah. And then it'd, and it'd disappear all through the trees and the bushes and be gone. Bye bye now. Bye bye. And I'd continue barbecuing and after 10 minutes or so I'd hear hey. here be coming back the other way. <laughs> Okay, it wasn't 10 minutes. Suppose it's still over there stuck After, in a tree somewhere. Let's go look. <laughs> the downside is that I had snails, and uh, there was something about aluminum tracks and power and stuff that would attract the snails, and they'd, uh, in the middle of the night, they'd go sit on the track. So when I was running at night, this thing, it'd be going off through the trees like this, and then you'd hear crash, and you'd see the lights go over on their side. Oh, crap. Crap. And I'd go over there and it hit a snail. There's nothing like a train there's, snail there's, collision. There's a dead snail across the track and it's like, oh, the humanity and this it's is over on its on side. The front of it. and go, yeah. Yeah. It's like a scene out of Spongebob. <laughs> the Delton Doozy. What a doozy of a model it is. It's super, super simple and it's also just super, super super fun mm -hmm. and I, I've never regretted buying the one I bought way back when and Lowell was good enough to give us one and by gosh and especially once we get the outdoor line working yes yeah, so then, then this, then this guy's gonna get a whole yeah, lot of use out there yeah. for, for, for the nostalgia if nothing else there you go because it's sort of neat mm -hmm. anyway <laughs> if you if you haven't been over to the channel pop over to the channel and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and you can do that with the blue button. Are there we ready is. for it? <laughs> Zoink! Right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet, and we hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday mm -hmm. as we work on the railroad this right. is going to run on. We'll see you then. We'll see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>